Hello, you're watching Got For Both Game, and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the Tomcat, showing how to fire the AIM-7 Sparrow missile. We'll be firing two missiles. The first will be with an STT lock, and the second will be in flood mode, which allows you to fire without a lock. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Master arm on, and open the ACM cover to ready your missiles. Check that your HUD is in air-to-air -air mode. Bring up the TID repeater. You'll need an STT lock to fire the Sparrow. You can get Jester to do this, use an ACM radar mode, or you can go to the back seat and lock a target yourself. Jester's picked up some targets on the radar. They're hostile, so let's get him to lock them up. Bring up the Jester menu. STT lock. Target ahead. Diamond in the HUD represents a locked target. The cross around the diamond represents a TV contrast lock. The missiles are now warmed up. That takes about two minutes in total. Weapon selector up to the sparrow position. HUD shows SP for the sparrow and the number of missiles remaining. Target closure rate on the left. On the right, the target range on a dynamic scale. VDI shows your launch parameters. Maximum range. Minimum range, current range, allowable steering circle, and the upside down T is the steering cue. You have to fly to get the T into the circle. As we close in on the target, the HUD range scale drops to 10 nautical miles. That beep means that someone's got a radar lock on us. We can take a closer look at the target using the TCS. Gun trigger to the second detent to fire. See the contrast lock on the TV just flicks momentarily to the missile there. Maneuver to hold your lock on the target. Splash one. Press the mode button to engage the next target in bore sight mode. This enables us to fire the sparrow without a single target lock, mostly useful in dogfights. The way this works is that the Tomcat's radar will flood an area in front of the plane with radiation, the sparrow will lock onto the first target it spots within this beam. The flooded area extends 30 degrees above the ADL and 5 degrees below. Hold the target in this zone and press gun trigger to second detent to fire. Fox 1. Fly to keep the target inside the flooded area until you get a hit. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Massive thanks to all my Kofi supporters. If you found this video useful, please share it. Subscribe to the channel for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.